Hi, uh, I'm Jenny Gamlin. I'm Deputy Director of the Centre for Gender and Global Health and an Associate Professor in the Institute for Global Health. So the first question I'm going to answer is who is your favourite feminist icon? But um, uh, I'm not actually going to talk about my feminist icon as such, um, but rather who's been the most influential feminist on my work. So um, I came across this book by Maria Mears, which is Patriarchy and Accumulation on a World Scale. When I was in a bookshop in New York in about 2001 and I was studying for my master's degree in Latin American studies and it really changed my understanding of what the feminist fight is from one of being about gender equality and relationship relationship dynamics if you like to being basically a fight against the prevailing capitalist world order um, and she takes apart historically uh, sort of the gender as a social structure to, to sort of explore how different historical periods have have changed the gender dynamic and the gender structure and different and how different historical moments have had an influence on present day gender dynamics um, so she, she goes through sort of um, uh, the Middle Ages uh, Victorian era uh, Europe and talks about how this has left a lasting impact on our gender on the dynamics in society and and how they were interlinked with the whole sort of economic structure and and the whole process of colonialism which takes me on to my second icon who is Rita Segato, who's written about um, structures of gender violence and coloniality in Latin America. She's an Argentine anthropologist. And Rita Segato is a decolonial feminist, and she, she looks at how gender was embedded in the colonies, and particularly looking at sort of how it changed dynamics in indigenous communities and how that intersects with, again, with sort of capitalism and the protest, process of colonialism. So I think between the two of them, they really change my understanding of what gender is and how it links to um, sort of much wider gen social structures, particularly sort of the capitalist world order. I've been fortunate to do a lot of my field work in the Sierra Madre Occidental in the northwest of Mexico in Wirarica, indigenous Wirarica communities. Um, I've spent a lot of time walking across mountain ranges and into valleys and spent considerable time in a little village called Taimarita or a little hamlet called Taimarita where um, I've attended sort of ceremonies and rituals, fiestas. The one, one particular occasion uh, I attended a, a sort of fiesta ritual that lasted about a week um, and it was um, it, it, it was amazing because I, I came to understand the intensity of a different belief system and the belief itself uh, and was immersed in a in a community and in a moment where you know science had no relevance where time was not linear and and I I, I came almost to to share this uh, understanding of the power of, of, of ritual in this moment but what's so fascinating about being sort of transported into a completely different understanding of the way in which the world world works is that it, this happens in parallel to fantastic ethnographic experiences of conversations with women about their daily lives about their marriages you know joking about um, sex joking about um, infidelities um, and uh, having lovely lovely chit chat with women on doorsteps um, with a warm beer in the hand um, which just made me feel very human and made um, the 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 experience of being if you like transported somehow or other to another a realm of understanding much more real um, and of course you know learning about women's lives in this way has been just an amazing um, research experience so i find it really difficult to choose one place but i spent a lot of time on the north norfolk coast in a little village called stiffkey and what I love about it is um, that it's coastal and I love the coast. Um, so I love to run along the coastal path from, let's say, from Stiffkey to Morstan uh, and back again. Um, and l look out at the sea while I'm running or look out across the, the coast. But I also really love a walk um, which takes you out across the marshes onto this enormous expanse of beach. Because when you get there, you're just alone with the sky and the beach. And it's absolutely stunning. It's an absolutely stunning view, which quite literally takes my breath away. And on the way back, you get to stop and swim in the creek, um, which is uh, just before you get to five really lovely little footbridges. Um, and it's just absolutely stunning. <laughs>